It always excites me to find a breakfast product, especially one that's been reduced. So let's see what this all day breakfast burrito from Jack and Names is all about. So we have meaty pork sausage and smoky bacon layered between creamy scrambled egg, potato bits, and a homemade tangy tomato sauce encased in a Barmart tortilla. Microwave only for 1 minute 30 seconds. So here it is my friends, straight out of the microwave. Just be aware, if there's any white sticker action on the outside of a wrapper, it burns in the microwave. Okay, let's step a little closer to this thing. So as we can see, we do indeed have this bar marked wrap, which always look kind of pleasing, don't they? It has zero scratch whatsoever. And the tortilla itself makes up 27%. Okay, let's open it up so it's like inside. Okay, so we kick off with this Cumberland sausage, which makes up 20% of this wrap. It's been cut in half for us, so we don't have to open it up to what it's like inside. Looks okay, like a grey, sly face grinning at us. All right, let's check that bush factor. The sausage meat was happy to go through, but the casing was having none of it. As we delve further, we'll find some scrambled egg. You can see it just about here, making up 10%. Also alongside it, is a piece of that diced potato, also making up 10%. And then finally, we find the bacon. These little pink pieces here, making up 7%. And the whole thing is held together with their homemade tomato sauce, 14%. And also, there's some bechamel sauce in there, 10%. The inner tortilla feels rather soft indeed. And the fork is enjoying brushing itself over the sausage. So it's time to get involved. Okay, we'll deal with that mess in a minute. Right, here we go. It was okay. It's moist enough because of the bechamel and tomato sauces, but all I could taste was Cumberland sausage, like sage, and there was a piece of gnarl, which I couldn't masticate through. We'll just set that thing to one side and try a bit without the sausage. Now that bite just had bacon in it with a bit of that bechamel sauce and scrambled egg. That was quite nice. It tasted like mildly cheesy bacon. In fact, as I open this other half up further, you can see there's loads of bacon over this side. This is where it was all hiding. And I think it is actually a rasher that's kind of like fallen apart. So let's see what that bacon's like on its own. It tasted okay. It tasted like boiled bacon. You know, there's no crisp or brownness on the fat at all. Sausage time. There's just too much sage in that for my liking. It's quite funky as well. I can feel it down the sides of my tongue and a tiny bit of my nasal passages. Yeah, I reckon that should just be a pork sausage. Yeah, finally, I'm gonna try a bit of that wobbly tortilla wrap. That didn't taste like anything. And it had the consistency of plasticine. And you can't taste these potatoes for love and the money. They're in there for texture purposes only. As I carried on playing through that thing, I realised that my favourite component was actually that boiled bacon. Because yeah, it did taste quite nice. I mean, I do like the juiciness of the whole thing. There is enough moisture in there. But those sausages for me, that sage overpowers everything. Five out of ten to the last bite. Mm. So Jake and Nain's all day breakfast burrito. It's okay. It's all right, I suppose, if you like stuffing. Do you know what? You can make it a lot better if you put a normal sausage in there, cook to the bacon before you put it in there, and do you know what? Maybe even a tiny bit of cream cheese. I think that'd be really good then. Anyway, thanks for coming. Till next time, get out of here. Oh. Okay, let's step a little closer to this. Uh, okay, so inside we... <sighs> okay, so we kick off with this Cumberland... Cumberland... Whoops. <sighs> It's not bacon at all. Where's the damn bacon? See, it tasted like cream. <laughs>